record, an ID record, of every purchase of handgun ammo in the 21st century, homicide detectives should be able to trace every fired bullet back to the buyer. Much has really changed, right? I mean, everybody talks about tracking guns, or, and there's 250 million guns that are registered, so we know there's about a half a billion that are out there completely. And the accountability and responsibility that we're trying to enact with the HP to have the serialization of bullets so we can have a, a direct connection back to the person who's selling these things would help. But when a, per, when a family member can't find justice, when they can't get closure because you know, their name is not Dwayne Wade, who, uh, you know, they find that person. Right. And, you know, here's a guy that probably will never get, uh, their family will never find that person, you know. And unless, unless we're somebody famous, unless we have that, the police are overwhelmed. The police have no ability to really track these guys down because people do not want to talk. People do not want to, uh, you know, give the information because they're afraid of the retribution that might happen and that's we see that every day right everybody says no no i don't know anything mm -hmm. i didn't see anything you know we got cameras all over the place we got cameras on our phones but no one knows anything so so we gotta you know somehow as a community somehow as a society rethink of what we're doing and take advantage of what we're talking about because you know my technology can can help create that tool to create a closure for that family, to bring police, you know, a little bit better into the community for trust. Because if if the cops aren't solving who shot your brother, how are you going to trust the police? You know, I don't care if they, you know, if it's an African American cop with an African American community, you still don't trust them because they haven't solved your problem. And if they're not solving your problems, why do you think that you have any trust there? So we have to rethink and we have to have our elected officials really uh, to step up, think outside the box and, and say, Einstein once said that the definition of insanity is to do something over and over again and expect a different results. Well, I think we've seen now for the last several years that what we've been doing is not changing. And what we can do is really think of what will give us a tool. And I hope that I could get your guys' support and call up your state reps and call up your state senators and say, HPT that we need because our community is tired. And if anybody has learned anything from this last election, when people get pissed, <laughs> there, there's change. And you might not like the change, but you know, things happen when people show up and not just talk. Right? Enough of the crocodile tears that we see every weekend in the sports score. I mean, come on. Every weekend we see this on Monday. 52 people shot, seven dead, and now at the chew today. You know, we just blow past that. You know, we have 50 people that get shot at Pulse nightclub and the world stops. Right, right, right. You know, we get 50 people shot in Chicago and people go, ah, well, it's Chicago. You know, it's like El Capone again. Oh, who cares? But you know, I care. I know you care. But you know, when does the world start to care? Oh.